What's up guys, today we're going to be showing you how to use a Salt Industries belt replacement tool on this Polaris Razor Turbo S. And while we're in there removing our belt, we're going to go ahead and upgrade to a G-Boost World's Best Belt. So let's get head over to the machine and get right to it. So we have our machine up on the lift with the wheel and tire removed from the driver's side. You don't have to do this. The only reason we're doing this is to better show you how to utilize this tool on your machine. All of this can be done trail side, you know, with minimal tools. So the first thing that I like to do before we even get started, I like to go ahead and blow the belt cover off, the whole area around the belt cover. That way when we remove it, we're not getting any mud, dirt, debris, or anything down inside the clutches. So we're gonna go ahead and blow it all off, and then we'll go ahead and remove our tube. So now that we've blown around the clutch cover and blown the clutch cover off, we're going to take a flat head screwdriver and go ahead and remove our clamp. We'll scrub our tube, remove it, and you can rotate this out of the way or you can just grab it pull it down and remove it, it comes out really easily. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove it. Then we're gonna take an eight millimeter socket. I like to use an eight millimeter on a wobble. We're gonna start removing all of our clutch cover hardware. Some of them you won't need to use a wobble. You can get right to them. Other ones you'll probably have to use a wobble to get to it. So once you have all your hardware removed, the clutch cover will come right off, just like so. Then we're gonna go ahead and blow out our clutch cover, blow our clutches off really good. And obviously if you're using this belt change tool on the side of a trail, you're probably not gonna have access to an air compressor or anything to blow your clutches out. But being as we're in a shop, and if you were in a shop or your garage, you know, wherever you're working on your machine at, if you have access to air, I highly recommend to blow everything out and get it as clean as you possibly can. That way, whenever you put your new belt on, you're not gonna contaminate it. Um, and the cleaner the clutches are, the better they're gonna perform, the cooler they're gonna stay, and the less issues with belts you're gonna have over time. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove our 15 millimeter bolt out of our secondary clutch. So now we're gonna grab the special nut out of the kit, as well as a flat washer. We're gonna take our factory hardware and go ahead and remove this washer. Take your hardware, slide it through the special nut and back into the secondary. Make sure you can get a good couple threads started. And then we're just gonna snug this. Now we're gonna grab our positioning flange, slide it into these holes just like so. Once we have our positioning flange in, what we're gonna do is turn our tool so that the rollers are facing towards the clutch. Turn the tool sideways. And thread it into the special nut. Once we get it snug, we're just gonna pull out on the tool like that, and that's gonna release the tension from our belt. Now we can grab our belt, roll it off of the secondary clutch. Once we've rolled it off the secondary, we can go ahead and disengage our tool.
slide it around the tool and then remove it off of the primary. So now, again, this is something that you'd do in a shop. If you're using this tool trail side, you're probably not gonna do this. But again, we are in a shop and I wanna show you how to make sure your clutches are clean and everything's gonna function flawlessly for many miles. So I like to take some Scotch-Brite, some red Scotch-Brite, and then some brake clean. I like to spray the sheaths on my primary clutch and then I take some Scotch-Brite, go through and wipe them all down, clean off any debris or anything from the belt. So then we're just gonna go through and just clean these sheaths up really good. And also this is a great time to inspect your clutches. You know, on the primaries, the biggest thing you wanna look for is they'll develop a big groove down at the center of the clutch um, you know, at the bottom or centermost portion of the sheath. If that starts to happen, um, there's really nothing you can do about it other than to replace the clutch. This one has a little bit of a groove on it, but it's not to the point where I think it needs replaced just yet. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and clean this clutch up, make sure we get all the debris, anything off of it. And this will take a little bit of time. So, you know, just be patient and work it all the way around and try to do it evenly as you possibly can with the clutch installed. Obviously this is better if you remove the clutch to do it. And then getting into the secondary without removing it um, is a little bit more difficult as far as cleaning goes. What I like to do is just try to take this piece of Scotch-Brite, hold it tight up against the sheath, and then just rotate the clutch. You know, work it as much as you can, get it cleaned, brake clean it out really good, um, then let everything dry and then we'll be ready to reinstall a new belt. And obviously you want to make sure that you're using some sort of brake cleaner, something that's non-chlorinated, something that's going to dry out really fast. Then just go through and wipe the sheaths down really good. Make sure you get any little particle or anything that's left on the sheath off of there. And again, like I said, this is something you do in a shop situation. Otherwise, this belt change would take you two minutes trail side utilizing the Assault Industries belt change tool. So now we're gonna install our new world's best belt from G-Boost. It's a great belt. I highly recommend installing a G-Boost belt on any machine. And we just need to kind of position this tool here, the belt tool, to where we can get our belt around it. Make sure you get it good in the primary and get it started on the top of the secondary and then grab it, pull it up and start working this belt, rolling this belt down the clutch, down your secondary clutch. Once your belt's in, just go ahead and remove your tool. Then go ahead and remove your bolt. And then make sure you take your factory washer and reinstall it. And you will want to torque this to the manufacturer's torque spec. And we're just gonna rotate our secondary counterclockwise until the belt rides all the way up just like that now we're going to go ahead and reinstall our clutch cover also another thing is you want to make sure that you clean your clutch cover out before you reinstall it and make sure especially on the turbo model you want to make sure you get that clutch cover good and aligned and you want to make sure you get all of your hardware started before you get to tighten it because unlike the 1K, the turbo hardware is threaded into the inner clutch cover and they will strip out very easily, especially if you thread them in crooked or if your hardware is super dirty, um, your threads are dirty. So I hand start everything 
and then I go through and I'll snug it up. Now that we have everything hand started, we're going to go through and snug all of our hardware up. As I tighten this, I kind of work around the clutch cover. Then we're going to grab our intake tube for our exhaust or for our clutch cover slide it back on go ahead and tighten our clamp back up And now you're ready to hit the trail. So that's all there is to it to use a Salt Industries belt change tool on this Polaris Razor Turbo S. Be sure to check the description below for a link to pick up your tool as well as your G-Boost belt. While you're there, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>